Hey everyone, Shahzada here. I hope you're having a great day because I have a dauntless update video for you. Patch 0.6.9 will be releasing later today, bringing tons of new stuff to the game, including a new behemoth, major hammer weapon changes, new hunt pass, and much more. But before we start with them, a quick side note, I'm once again streaming on Twitch 4 days a week at least, so be sure to check the links in the description and somewhere on the screen at the moment, and join me if you wanna see some more gaming and also music production and music composing, which are part of my streams. So I hope to see you guys there. On to the patch changes. Firstly, Hunt Pass Season 3 will be starting with the release of this patch. The biggest changes with it are the increase in the amount of transmogs we are getting which include the full armor set this time and of course the skin for the Austrian repeaters. I presume we will also see other weapon skins with the new season. Secondly, if you have not yet heard, the Hunt Pass will cost a thousand platinum and if you fully complete it, you will get 500 platinum as a reward. So it's like a discount for you to have for the next season pass and get them at a half price each time. A strange way to stimulate players to play and give them a cheaper season pass, but I'm not going to judge financial decisions. The new currency for the season pass will be emerald leaves and you will get 5 of them for each daily challenge, 5 of them for each eater sprout you gather in Ramsgate, I will be doing a locations guide after a few days when I get to check all spawn points, 150 of them for each weekly challenge and of course between 0 and 30 of them for destroying a behemoth body part. Remember, this is chance based and you will not always get them. I will link one of my videos for destroying behemoth body parts in the description or make a short updated one for you guys. On to the other new stuff. Dreadfrost Boreas is now part of the Heroic Maelstrom as its new behemoth. Question is where is the normal version and have Phoenix Labs prepared something interesting for us in the coming weeks? I have a lot of speculations which I will share with you in a future video since we want to concentrate on what is actually releasing today in this one. The new Dauntless behemoth is going to be live and waiting to be slayed in the Heroic Maelstrom, so I advise you to prepare your Frostback Pangar gear in advance. I will be making solo kill guide and abilities walkthrough on Boreas later tonight after I get my ass kicked a couple of times of course. Alongside him we're getting new weapons, armor, a repeater prism and the iceborne cell which gives the iceborne perk which in turn grants increased defense when your health gets low. Higher levels of the perk also grant lifesteal. It will be an interesting perk to try out and check possible builds with the hunger and the rage perk maybe or wild frenzy rage and the hunger. I don't know but I will be experimenting with it. What I'm sad about is that we're not getting another new exotic. We will also be getting a new loadout screen uh, are released alongside the UI updates that we keep getting these past weeks. The currency of the game also has been replaced with a new one called RAM coins or RAMs. There must be a reason behind this which we will probably find out in the near future. Hopefully we will find out. Now for the other big change, the hammer is getting an overhaul. The hammer combo finishers have now been replaced with a new eater slam ability. All of the hammer concussive eater combo finishers have been replaced with eater slam. To perform it, simply press the right mouse button or your secondary attack button at the end of any hammer strike combo. Eater Slam is a powerful overhead strike that deals damage directly to the target and expands the entire hammer clip to create a wave of explosions that deal additional damage. Striking directly with Eater Slam will also completely reload your clip with Eater Charged Ammo, a new empowered ammo type. Eater Slam may be performed even when the clip is empty, but no explosions will be created. Doing so still confers the benefit of the direct damage reload. Eater Charged Ammo improves the damage and stagger benefits of all ammo based attacks, including Concussive Eater, Standing, Evasive Blast, Primed Attacks, and Eater Slam Explosions. Let's talk about the Concussive Eater. The Standing version of Concussive Eater, by default, the right mouse button, has been reworked. Players may now hold down the default right mouse button or the secondary attack button to change the hammer's concussive eater, loading multiple shells in from the clip over time. Releasing the health button will immediately fire all loaded shells, dealing damage and interrupting behemoths where applicable. Loading more shells increases both the damage and range of this attack. Starting this attack will now align the hammer muzzle with the camera face direction, allowing for quicker turns and interrupt setups. While charging, the player can aim the direction of the blast by adjusting the camera direction. Concussive Eater will fire automatically if all remaining ammo is loaded. Concussive Eater can be cancelled by rolling, refunding the loaded ammo. Bad ammo 
was something that existed prior to this patch. Players would receive bad ammo when failing an active reload or letting the reload expire. This has been removed. There is now only good ammo, the non-eater charged ammo and eater charged ammo. The time penalty for failing an active reload or letting it expire has not changed. Now onto the quality of life changes. The Molten Heart buff pickup visual effects will no longer appear to fade away before the actual pickup object expires. Inspiring Pylon text has been changed to clarify its effect. It increases damage done by slayers, not damage done to slayers. When interacting with the middleman you can now click to select a cell and click again to deselect a cell. This eliminates the need to choose a different cell in order to remove the original. The hammer's model should now more accurately show how much ammo is left in the hammer's clip. Fix the bug that made it difficult for gamepad using slayers to dye their gear. Finished removing the inventory screen, cell dusting is now accessible exclusively through the middleman. Gear and power levels will now correctly update after upgrading gear. Fix the bug that prevented slayers from upgrading a piece of gear twice in a row. Slayers should no longer have to select an unrelated piece of gear before returning to the piece they wanted to upgrade. Fix the bug that could cause slayers with large noses to clip through the savant's hood. A great nose may be the index of a great soul. Slayers will no longer be plagued by Exilia's whispers when they spawn into the city of Ramsgate. Fix the bug that could cause the middleman's cell exchange to enter a weird state if slayers exited in the middle of a button press. The Ostian repeaters can now be transmogged. Of course, we're getting the first transmog for them. Fix the bug that could cause gamepads to skip over the loadout button in the main menu. Fix the bug where equipped items could not be selected in the Smith's upgrades menu. Fix an issue where primed hammer attacks were taking the next shell ammo quality instead of the current one. In cases where it was your last shell, you'd gain no bonus to priming. Polish shock and blaze visual effects. Fix the bug where hammer's clip would not display correctly if the hammer was transmogged to one of the different clip. There have been improved uh, cell dusting flows, fixed some assorted bugs and improved overall functionality. In tandem with this, we've reworked the Ether Dust Received screen to be less intrusive after dusting a cell. Increased oofness for flare explosion sound effects Huh, that was strange. Added a new pop-up to inform slayers that transmogging will consume a transmog stone if they're not transmogging to a cosmetic skin. Backing out of the die or transmog panel in the loadout menu will now revert any unsafe changes. Fix the bug that could prevent Razor chroma key bindings from displaying properly. Yes! Fix the bug that could cause transmogs to fail. Visual obstruction from explosion visual effects has been reduced and smoke will disappear more quickly as it gets closer to the camera. Both of these changes should improve overall visibility. Behemoth's elemental resistances, weak and strong, should now be visible in the airship ready room. Naizaga and Ramsgard scout gear will now be affected by movement physics. Reduced start application by 50%, huh? And finally added the first iteration of Rumble to gamepads. You may feel a tremor when you hit or get hit. Please note this is still in development and may have some bugs. If you encounter any, please let us know. So these are all of the patch notes. I'm once again gonna kindly ask Phoenix Labs to leave at the bottom of the patch notes that behemoths may occasionally walk in irregular patterns. Fix this by slaying them. This is something that's missing, I'm adding it up because it sounds great and it's part of the community and I love it. I will be, of course, testing the new behemoth and doing again, I'm repeating myself, a soul kill guide and full abilities walkthrough later tonight after he releases, so expect the videos uh, from 1 to 4 hours after the patch hits. I may even make the tonight stream uh, to be a dauntless one, but we will see. If I make it a dauntless one, I'll definitely make an announcement earlier, both on Twitter, on Discord, and on YouTube, as I usually do in my community. So, a reminder, check my Twitch later tonight. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video or dislike it as you see fit. Definitely tell me what you think about the changes about the new behemoth after you check him out, after uh, you check the new hammer. Maybe you like the hammer, maybe you prefer the old one. Definitely drop me a comment with your opinion down below. Do not also forget to check the links in the description to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord community where I invite you to follow me. Finally, of course, if you want to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and, of course, press the bell icon in order to get notifications. This is everything for me for this video. See you in the next one. Shadow Strider out.